Sacramento police are searching for a suspect they believed exposed himself to several different people. It happened near a few schools in the Land Park area and the Pocket area. Fox 40's Doug Johnson live for us tonight in Land Park with more on what authorities are telling teens to do if it happens to them. Doug. Erica, police are telling teens to really stick to main roads when walking to and from school. And they also say that this, uh, if they do see something like we're talking about here, they should turn around the other way. Sacramento police say between January 28th and the 31st, one man indecently exposed himself three different times. Uh, approaching uh, juveniles. Um, uh, while approaching them, he's also been touching himself, exposing himself. Officers say the suspect, described as a 25 to 30 year old white man with a mustache, is typically in the driver's seat of an older white four door sedan, and that he will make some inappropriate comments to the victim or victims before exposing himself. That's disgusting, and it's wrong. The first report happened on Monday, the 28th, near Vallejo Way and Riverside Boulevard in Land Park. The second incident was on the following Wednesday, the 30th on Gloria Drive near John F. Kennedy High School in the pocket. Oh, it is pretty shocking because, I mean, you know, we, we have the gated community down here in Greenhaven and Pocket, and it's a pretty family-oriented neighborhood, so. Baltazar Lara came to Kennedy to pick up his younger brother today. Yeah, I tell him all the time not to talk to strangers, and I think he has a good head on his shoulders, but definitely need to bring attention to it. The third sighting was the next day, Thursday 31st, near Freeport and 11th, just down the block from McClatchy High School. Good afternoon, CK McClatchy families. That prompted the school's principal to send out a robocall warning to parents. There is safety in numbers. Inform your students to avoid walking alone to and from school. It's advice police are echoing. If someone calls you over their car, just, you know, run and go the other way. No, it's best to stay in a group. And fortunately, nobody was hurt in any of those incidents, but police are looking for tips from the public on this one. So if you know anything about it, they ask for you to give them a call. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you.